Hello and welcome to the CEO update for June. So firstly on advocacy for master plumbers, there's a lot happening as normal in the advocacy space, but particularly we've got uh, the building levy consultation out, um, and we're gonna give some feedback to MB, particularly around making sure that New Zealand standards, and particularly plumbing, gas fitting and drain layer, standards are well funded. And we'd like to see the building levy used for those New Zealand standards that are all relevant to the construction industry. So some great news that came out of the budget. The Prentice Boost Scheme has been extended nearly 18 months right through to December 2024. And this really will help um, all employers make sure they get some funding when we take on those all important apprentices. So look for our website for the details on the Boost Scheme, but it's something that we're really proud of for the advocacy work that we've completed in making sure that employers are recognised for their huge commitment to the apprentice scheme and what we need to fill the workforce shortages across the construction sector. Another news uh, from the budget, we obviously had some investment that we're really pleased to see about investment in hydrogen development in Southland. Now the government has committed to 32 million for a research and development project for the first four years and 100 million for that whole project. Now that is really positive because it shows that renewable gas, whether it's biogas or hydrogen, is going to be the future opportunity for the gas sector across New Zealand. Now not so good news on the climate change uh, latest draft report, still s suggesting that maybe there should be a reduction of new gas connections going forward. Now we'll submit uh, some feedback to the Climate Change Commission, but please remember that doesn't always align with the government uh, position on these facts. So we'll make sure that they have some strong feedback about gas is going and transitioning into a renewable resource, which means that it will be carbon zero in the future. So we're actually excited about the gas sector and what we can deliver for an energy resource for all New Zealanders into the future. Regarding membership benefits, as you all know, we've got our Wellbeing on Tap program, which has been uh, rewarded through a site safe awards and also we partner with mates of construction to make sure we've got breadth and coverage across all our membership across the country. I'd really encourage you to use those resources. Uh, there has been some prosecutions recently from WorkSafe and they're really looking into making sure that all businesses in the construction sector in particular have a health and wellbeing program embedded into their system. So make sure you do use the resources that are on our website under our member benefits. The second thing we've done is we've just recently updated the residential building contracts and that's for any value that any member is doing for $30,000 plus. It's by law that you do need to have a residential contract and there's been some changes to the contract. So we've updated them all, they're now on the website, so please download that and use that when you are uh, projects for any consumer is more than $30,000. Now finally on membership benefits, obviously um, we've got CBD running from the PG board across the country in different locations and you're able to find those details through the PGD website um, or micro advertising across the country. But please come and talk to the Master Plumbers and Master Link team, we've got a trade stand available and there's a great prize you can win if you fill out a quick entry form. It's important that you get across CBD and it's done efficiently um, and so make sure you reach out to a team in your local area. Now as you all know we've got a great uh, magazine, the New Zealand Plumber magazine that's distributed to all of you. What we're really looking for is stories of interest and Beverly is always reaching out to try and find um, the amazing stuff that uh, your staff, uh, your apprentices and others are doing. And we're really looking for those stories to come through so we can keep our content really high level uh, for all of the New Zealand Plumber magazine. So you've got stories, whether it's racing, rugby games, or something that your team's done in the community, please reach out to the Master Plumbers team and we'll happily make sure that it goes into print. Now finally, I just thought I'd just wrap up conference. We're just so pleased our conference went. And accumulating to the New Zealand Plumbing Awards, we ended up with more than 370 people attending that black tie event. We had a great conference because we had engagement from members, the business partners really enjoyed what we were putting out. And I think the panels worked really well as we got great engagement inside the conference. I want to have a special shout out to uh, the Master Plumber of the Year, Cameron Devine. 
uh, from the Hawke's Bay region. Uh, it's just a great example of a, a business that has developed and grown and also that his work that he's done with cyclone relief has been remarkable. And probably, you know, a little star of the show, Sebastian, who won our Plumbing World Scholarship, a great personality, and you would have seen him on the panel. But this is what our industry is about. It's about great people doing great work across the network. And I really want to thank the whole Master Plumbers Masterlink team for the work they did with the conference. It takes six months of really hard work to produce a conference of that high standard. And it's something we've evolved year on year and we keep developing. I'm really looking forward to hosting a conference in 2024 in Wellington. We've got an amazing new convention centre and we'll be able to showcase what Wellington's about and also continue to improve the outcomes around the conference. So that's me, it's a wrap for the CEO up to date. Uh, we're going into winter so it's time to make sure all those gas appliances update, the servicing's gone well and also your team's well looked after. But in the meantime, be safe out there and thank you very much.